Good morning, Saxons. I'm Jonah Gale. And I'm Noah Castellanos. Welcome back to the Saxon Broadcast. Today is Wednesday, May 29th. We hope you enjoyed the Memorial Day weekend. SOL retakes and makeups resume this week and end this Friday. Senior exams concluded yesterday and underclassmen exams begin on June 6th. See the schedule on screen. Let's now head over to Hassan with this week's weather. Hey Saxons, I'm Hassan and here's this week's weather. This week's weather is looking a bit cooler than last week. Highs in the mid-70s to 80s, lows in the 50s to 60s. Conditions remain mostly sunny for the week, except for a chance of showers starting around 3.40 p.m. today. Sunsets around 8.25 p.m. Now that's all for me. Now back to Noah and Jonah. Thanks, Hassan. Seniors, don't forget to buy your all-night grad party tickets. Scan the QR code on the posters in the hallway or click the link in E! News. There will be pool inflatables, a casino, a laser tag arena, arcade, boba and ice cream, and so much more. Buy your ticket today. Congrats to our yearbook students. The 2024 edition of the Langley Yearbook, and there it is, has been selected for Varsity's Yearbook National Showcase. Just 18 books in the entire country received this honor. This is the best book we've made to date. There's still time to buy your copy on My School Books. Now let's take a look at a special feature about car-dependent infrastructures. Here I am in the quiet suburb of North Paradise Valley in Phoenix, Arizona. And here I am in Vienna, Virginia, along the newly built shared use path along Route 7. These two regions may seem very different. One is a forest, one is a desert, but they still have something very similar to each other. And that is car dependent infrastructure. Car dependent infrastructure is infrastructure that only caters to the needs of vehicles, creating extremely hostile environments for non drivers, such as pedestrians and public transit riders. Car dependency can come in many forms, ranging from zoning policies to highways slicing straight through neighborhoods. But what is car dependency? Is it some delusional concept? Or is it actually something that genuinely exists in the United States? If you want to go for a walk from Langley High School to the nearest McDonald's, there are no city buses that can take you there. You have to walk through a series of roads which lack sidewalks or are hostile to pedestrians. An example is Georgetown Pike, which lacks sidewalks nearly all of its route from McLean to Drainsville. Here in Phoenix, there's mostly the same issues. Most roads are wide, have narrow sidewalks, and lack proper public transit. The nearest grocery store from here is an hour and 20 minutes walk, but it's an eight minute drive. So walking is just unfeasible in this climate, especially if the government isn't building enough proper sidewalks or public infrastructure. I even went for a little walk in Phoenix, and you can see how much space the cars get compared to how much space you get. And this is what you hear the entire time. Not only that, but the United States heavily lacks public transit. If you look at cities outside of the US with public transit networks, they make America's networks look like a joke. In the Langley Pyramid itself, we lack bus lines as only two Fairfax connector routes serve Vienna and McLean, and not a single line has access to Great Falls. If you'd like to watch the rest of this segment, head over to our Saxon Broadcast YouTube page where the full segment is posted. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Hassan. To watch the full segment, check out our YouTube channel. Now it's time for... Saturday's senior birthday was Eva Rickenwald. Sunday's senior birthdays were Nigel Pinto and Desiree Bonapore. And today's senior birthday is Chrissy Cockle. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Follow us on Instagram at Saxon Broadcast and our TikTok at Saxon underscore broadcast. If you'd like to submit an announcement to be aired on the Saxon Broadcast, use the QR code on the screen to fill out a form. Now that's all for today. Have, Have a great, great day, day, Saxons! Saxons.